Thank you, Mr. President. During the last week, the refugee has finally gotten a name, an identity, and a story. Through a picture, we have realized that behind each and every one of the dead refugees and migrants, there are dreams and aspirations and loved ones left behind. It is our European decency that, lie, that lies lifeless on the Turkish beach together with Alan Kurdi, the three-year-old toddler in his red t-shirt and small sneakers. He lost his life, but he brought passion and compassion back to the European debate on migration, and therefore we will remember him for a very long time. After the recent tragedies, my heart fills with pride when I see citizens all across Europe taking to the streets to welcome refugees into their communities. They have shown, Mr. President, much more of a backbone and humanity during the last week than most of our politicians have done over the past decade. Citizens show us what Europe and European values really are all about and what Europe can, Europe can be at its best. And still we hear some voices among the leaders of the, of the member states complaining about illegal migrants. And I must admit, Mr. President, that I'm quite fed up with that rhetoric by now. Because how is anyone fleeing war or persecution supposed to get to Europe to seek asylum? Since it is us, the EU, that do not allow people to alive, uh, apply for asylum in our embassies or consulates. It is us, the EU, that introduced a directive to, to, uh, on carrier liability that makes it completely illegal for any airline or shipping company to take on board anybody that does not have a visa. This is a vicious circle, a catch-22, and we are responsible to change it. We must review the existing, existing asylum legislation in Europe and adopt it to this century to provide for legal and safe routes to get here. We must agree to a system of binding quotas of refugees to accept it by every member state. And my group is, of course, all in favor of the proposals by the Commission. This is a defining moment for Europe, and our best days are yet to come. Grazie. Grazie.